I'm Professor Gordon Masterton. I'm Chair of Future Infrastructure at the University of Edinburgh. But my career has been principally in industry. I'm a civil and structural engineer. I've been involved in the design of major projects and in the delivery and the project management of very large programs. And I've been working together with other industry practitioners and academics at the university to help co-design the new MSc and leading major programs. Increasingly, it's large programs that we're using to deliver the improvements to the quality of life that we seek. And it's not all about engineering, because major programs can be constructed for many aspects of modern life. IT projects for the health service, for the Ministry of Justice, for example, they are major programs full of complexity in their own right. Large, major, complex programs are a feature of the way that we deliver services today. So this degree will be delivered in the heart of the beautiful city of Edinburgh, a city that blends tradition with modern innovation. The MSc degree will cover traditional topics such as risk management and project governance, but it will also include subjects such as resilience and data science. We believe that these newer subjects are important in major programmes, both in their delivery and in their end product. We've seen the alignment of the engineering and technology world in recent years. We see progression of concepts such as digital twin coming to the fore in the assets that we help build and maintain. And during the course, we'll be looking at the alignment of the technology and engineering worlds, looking at technology leadership roles and aspects of technology such as data science and how they fit within the digital twin in the engineering space. I certainly think that for decision makers, it is important for them to have some understanding of data science, particularly when working on larger projects. I think particularly the case these days that these large projects generate a large amount of data. It's always been the case that decision makers have to take into account all the information that they have available to them to, to make the best decisions. But the difference now is that there is so much more information available. So how do you extract the useful stuff out of all the noise? And that's exactly what data science does. It provides the, the tools and techniques to understand large amounts of data, to extract knowledge from the data, and to make predictions from that data. I think that leading major programmes, it's very important that we understand that it's not just project management and programme management that's needed, it's also systems thinking. The module that I'm leading will show how a systems approach can be used to avoid the problems that often occur with large programmes and projects when they have to integrate with a complex environment and even a complex political system. The idea of the module is to introduce to students that you need to think across the whole environment when you're designing a project, not just your individual part of it. Thinking the whole way, how it interacts and how everything has to work together in order to build a successful solution to your problem. My name is Bill Hewlett and I'm the technical director of Costain. I'm a civil engineer and I've got 40 years experience in the industry. I'm leading the course on philosophy and engineering and for me that's a huge step forward for our industry. I've been around a long time and I've been waiting for it to happen and I'm really looking forward to leading it. Philosophy is relevant to delivering major projects because major projects are essentially about making sound judgments and doing the right thing and that's the subject matter of philosophy. It's also become clear in discussions with industry leaders that philosophy has insights for the engineering profession to reflect on in delivering projects efficiently on time and to standard. Well, we're delivering our course in collaboration with industry leaders because the course isn't about philosophy and about philosophical theories, but about how philosophical insights can improve program delivery and co-teaching the course with people with a track record in that area is the only way to do that. Certainty and uncertainty are critical questions in major programs. What is it possible to know? How do we know it? And then moving on from that, where do we spend our effort and invest our resource to get the best results? That's a sort of question around uncertainty and certainty that philosophy has been investigating for many centuries. People have wrestled with these questions. So that insight can help us with our major programme leadership. The drive towards ever larger programme delivery is in search of efficiency, productivity, in search of excellence. But the larger the programmes become, the more complexity is introduced into them. And managing the conflicting priorities of schedule, cost, 
quality, health and well-being of the workforce, health and well-being of the citizens, political priorities, public sentiment. Managing these complexities is a really special skill. We're delivering the program in collaboration with four schools to try to match the complexity that's involved in leading major programs where there's a variety of stakeholders who come from different disciplines, have different perspectives, backgrounds, experiences, and interests. And by involving colleagues from a diversity of schools in the university, it will give people in the program experience with that. And these complexities, if they aren't managed effectively, can lead to underperformance. And that's what our course is about. It's about top industry practitioners and academics co-designing a program that will equip students with the skills to navigate the complexities of major program delivery. This program is a part-time program. It's designed to be taken alongside your existing employment. It is set up so that you will only have to be here on campus for a number of short blocks, 10 short blocks from three to five days that are spaced out over the course of the, of the two-year program. Uh, the advantage of that is of course that it doesn't have to break up what you're currently working on, but also it gives you the opportunity to apply the things that you're learning in the program directly in your day-to-day -day work. This degree is affiliated with the Edinburgh Futures Institute, whose aim is to bring together people from different backgrounds and disciplines in order to tackle those big issues which we face both locally and globally. These are exactly the same challenges that face future projects and programmes. We and our graduates are ready for these challenges.